previously on Mama Eda and the Evil Cook. Mama Eda, also known as Mama K, was a strange woman who sold food in Keso village. Despite the fact that she recently entered the village, she had become so popular that everybody bought her food including children. This was because her food was so cheap. However, a young girl called Stella, whose mother was also a cook suspected that there was something strange about Mama K and vowed that she would do everything in her power to find out the truth. What the villagers did not know, however, was that Mama K was a witch and she was secretly using her witch powers to charm children and cook them as a meal for the villagers. Stella went to talk to her mother about Mama K but her mom didn't listen to her. Stella then went to meet her best friend, Kemi, to explain to her about her plan. She told Kemi that she would follow Mama K after she had finished cooking and find out her secret. Kemi told Stella to be careful so she won't get into trouble. That same day, Kemi followed Mama K when she had finished cooking and attending to the customer buying food. She followed Mama K into the forest. Kemi was shocked when Mama K crossed into the forbidden part of the forest where no one dared to go. At a particular spot, Mama K stopped as she had now gotten to her hut which was also her shrine in the forest. Stella was shocked to see lots of children clothes on the floor but there was something that shocked her more. Stella saw her little brother laying unconscious on a tree. It was at that point she realized that Mama K had bewitched her brother and wanted to use him for food. When Mama K went into her shrine to get something, Stella wanted to quickly grab her brother and run but it was too late. Mama K grabbed her, overpowered her and tied her behind a tree. And now the second part of our story begins. Stella felt helpless and frustrated at her situation. She thought that she would have been able to quickly help her little brother but she was wrong. Mama K had already caught her, of all the people in the village, it is you who decided to follow me here, Mama K said to Stella. You are going to be a part of my next meal, Mama K added laughing. You evil witch, let go of my brother and I, Stella said fiercely. The village will soon know what you are up to. It is only a matter of time. If that is the case, how come no one has found out yet? You alone followed me here and you die without anyone knowing my secret, Mama K said. Mama K then went into her hut to get a bucket to fetch water. She usually got water from a nearby stream in which she used to cook the children she have captured. As soon as Mama K left, Stella tried to see if she could break free from the rope that Mama K tied but it was so tight. She prayed to the God of a miracle. At that very moment, Stella began to hear the sound of rustling leaves on the ground with footsteps approaching. She wondered if it was an animal. To her greatest surprise, Stella saw that it was Kemi. Unknown to her, Kemi had been behind her while she was following Mama K. She had witnessed everything and overheard the conversation. How did you come here? Stella asked surprised to see her best friend. I followed you, Kemi replied. As she got hold of a knife and cut the rope that was used to tie her friend Stella. Stella told Kemi that they needed to run before Mama K returned to find them. Stella carried her little brother and ran off with her best friend Kemi. The friends began to run through the forest in an attempt to escape from Mama K and go back to the village. 
After a while, Stella felt tired as she was running with her brother who she carried at her back. This did not only made her tired but also slowed her down and they still had a long way to go. It was at this point that Stella realized that Mama K was going to catch up with them because of how slow they were moving. Stella then told her friend Kemi that she alone should return to the village and tell the king about what Mama K was up to. What nonsense are you saying? We all need to move together we will make it, Kemi said to her friend, Stella. Stella then told Kemi the reality they were facing. She told Kemi that if the three of them kept moving slowly, Mama K would catch them. So what are you suggesting? Kemi asked. Stella told Kemi that she should run and tell the king everything, in the meantime she would be behind. She explained that even though Mama K caught she and her brother again, the king and his soldiers would be on their way to capture Mama K. It was a perfect plan but there was something that scared Kemi about the plan. It was possible that Mama K would have already killed Kemi and her little brother Toloni before Kemi can get help. Kemi was afraid of this and began to cry. Even though we die, we will be saving countless other children, Stella said. Now, run. She commanded. Kemi ran in tears as fast as her legs could carry her. She didn't want her best friend or her little brother to be back by the time she brought help. As she was running, tears was falling from her eyes and she was panicking. In the meantime, Stella thought of a personal plan to help herself and her brother. She felt if she continued moving slowly, it will endanger her so she decided to hide. She hoped her little brother will wake up soon and then they can both run. After a long time of running, Kemi finally arrived at Keso village. She however did not rest, she ran across the street straight to the king palace. Some persons who saw her running through the village were surprised and wondered if something was chasing her. At the palace, when Kemi arrived because of the distance she had run in a short period, she felt very weak and couldn't speak, instead she fell unconscious on the ground much to everyone's surprise. Meanwhile, at the place where Stella was hiding, she prayed her little brother wakes up so that she could run away. She stayed there a long while until she began to hear sounds of footsteps. She felt it was Kemi bringing help but unfortunately, it was Mama K. Mama K caught Stella in her hiding place. Stella wanted to run but then Mama K used her evil magic to bewitch Stella's mind. Stella was now under Mama K's control. With this, Mama K made her to carry her little brother and followed her back to her shrine where she had planned to kill and cook them. You thought you were safe by hiding but you made a big mistake. I don't know how you managed to escape by yourself but this is the end for you. Mama K said as she, Stella and Toloni arrived at her hut. As she went inside her hut to take something as soon as she came back, she saw that Keso village bodyguards had surrounded her. It turned out that Kemi's mission was successful. Kemi was glad to see that her friend Stella was indeed alive as well as her brother. The king's palace guards apprehended Mama K and took her to the palace prison in the palace. Everyone in the village recognized Stella and Kemi as a hero in the village and the king rewarded them. We've come to the end of our story. Please like, share and subscribe. Till we meet again.